What is up, YouTube? Icy Breloom here with my road trying video. And sorry I couldn't get to the introduction, but my like my game was glitching out, so I just skipped and went to the battle because I couldn't find any battles. But today is Monotype Tuesday, and I'm doing Monotype Water. So today I'm bringing Cloyster Azumarill, Slow King Crawdon, Greninja, and Blastoise. Uh, my opponent's bringing Bayonet, Metagross, I, uh, I was gonna say Icy Breloom. No, Breloom, Sharpedo, um, Flagon, and Whalerine. Or Walrin, whatever. So you guys can leave in the comments what monotype you'd like to see. Monotype Grass, Dark, anything. And you can also do monotype Evolutions, monotype Light Pokemon, monotype King Pokemon, anything like that. So, um, here, my opponent has an interesting team. I'm gonna bring Crawdon, Blastoise, and Cloyster as my three. Um, I wanted to bring that Cloyster for the Breloom and the Flagon, and then I wanted the Blastoise because it just, it's a relatively good Pokemon. It hits Breloom, Flagon, a bunch of things. But really sorry I couldn't get that introduction in this video. Um, stinks. So I'm leading Crawdon here. My choice banded Crawdon. He's gonna lead with his Sharpedo, that's not good. Hmm. I think I'm gonna switch out and go into Blastoise. Um, I'm running, I was gonna, oh, this is gonna be the last video I'm featuring Cloyster for a while. But, um, it's been in all my videos so far, I love Cloyster. I wanted to use Focus Sash Cloyster, but since I have a Greninja, I was like, well, I have to Focus Sash it. A scolding, um, Sharpedo? I don't see that often. But I wanted to bring Focus Ash, uh, Focus Ash Cloyster, Scarf Crawdon, and I, I didn't know what to put on Greninja. I had, like, Life Orb, maybe? But, I mean, I'm gonna Mega Evolve and go for the Aura Spear. I don't like Life Orb Greninja as much as I like the Focus Ash. Last three tonight. So here I go, Mega Evolution. And I'm gonna see, he's, I'm probably expecting a protect here. Destiny Bond. He's running the D-Bond, baby. So we're both gonna go down here, which sucks. He took my Mega down for a Sharpedo. But hey, he was using Sharp Sharpedo right, so I can't complain. Um, Blastoise goes down. I'm gonna go into my Crawdon, as it is my, like, safest bet. Just wanna like fast knock off, fast crab hammer. Well, they're not fast. Breloom! Why Breloom? Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna have to switch out into Cloyster. Cloyster can take a seed bomb, a bullet seed, a mock punch, a sky uppercut. Actually, I'm not sure about sky uppercut, but base 180 defense. Are you kidding? It's gonna tank it. No, it'll, take it. it'll be in like yellowish, reddish. Crit! That's not a crit. Oh god. Okay, this thing is choice banded. He got four hits, KOing me. I know this thing's choice banded. Bullet C doesn't normally do that much. At all. Ever. Um, my chances of winning are one in a million here. No. My chances of winning are me critting, like, knockoff or something. No. I need a crit on Crab Hammer. High crit ratio. I lost. Policy can't miss. He needs two hits to lose. But uh no, even two hits would kill, wouldn't it? No, but he got the three hits. That's gonna be the first game. We take a loss. You know. Man, I hate monotype. I'm gonna lose I'm gonna destroy my rating. But hey, it's for fun. You know, it's for the channel. Tomorrow it's gonna be... I'm gonna leave it a surprise. I think I wanna leave it a surprise. On what the days are gonna be. Anyways, let's go for another battle. Probably should've brought... Mm -hmm. Greninja would've helped, but... If I went into Cloyster there, depending on his last Pokemon, I might've won. I would've locked myself into Icicle Spear. Oh, that's a... No, it's not a Scarf. No way. Callum, 6v6, with a rating of 1544. Callum is bringing Dragonite, Politoed, 
Togekiss, Trevenant, Heliolisk, and Kabutops. So I see a severe ice weakness between three Pokemon. So I'm gonna lead up. I'm gonna lead with Cloyster. Um, he also he has a weakness to Ground and two Pokemon, but then he has two uh one resistance, three immunity, two immunities. Hmm. Um, I'm thinking Slow King. Is good because I want to really, I really want to burn that Kabutops. I don't want to use it. Oh, he's gonna open up with Politoed. Well, anyways, if I'm gonna predict that, I'm, I'm not gonna predict it. And then Blastoise is my third. Uh, probably not gonna use Blastoise in the next, in the next match. So let's see what my opponent's bringing. It's probably gonna open up Politoed and then go into the Kabutops. Or burn something, rest with Chestoberry. Then go into the Kabutops. Yep. Politoed here. I'm opening up Cloyster. Um, Politoed can't do much to me. It can Focus Blast if it runs it. It can Psychic. But it can Scald. That's about it. I'm gonna Rock Blast the Politoed. I'm not even gonna attempt to switch. I don't want him getting free Scald off or whatever comes in. Wow, that does nothing. This is like max HP, max defense. That does nothing. Because his special defense already is so good. His base special defense. That was nothing. Oh, Hypnos avoided. Even though it has really low accuracy, like 60. Eh. Rock Blast has 90 accuracy. 95. I've missed it so much for my life. Um, I'm not killing it this turn. It's gonna be another turn. He can miss his Hypnosis. That would be really nice. So clutch. Or clutch. Whoops. Not clutch. <laughs> I'm clutch. Anyways, I'm gonna go for another rock blast. Can I take it out? Can I take it out? Looks like it. Looks like it. Oh, two more hits. Oh, it's gonna cut it close. Cloyster! You just took out a Politoed. Even though he missed two hypnosis. If he actually went for two stalls, I might have killed. I only have based like 40 or 45. I think 45 special defense. So the Scalds would have killed. I mean, yeah, the Scalds, if he had it, would have killed. He's gonna go into his Heliolisk with dry skin. I'm gonna Rock Blast. Looks like a rain team, I forgot to say. Uh, between Kabutops and Heliolisk. This Rock Blast, I wish I would, I wish I didn't lock myself into Rock Blast. If I rock, lock myself into Ice Cold Spear, I would have KO'd here. Because of the stab. But I barely missed the KO by this much, with the crit! Oh, I'm gonna die to a thunder so hard. You did well, Cloyster. You did amazing. Rest in peace. Cloyster! He heals from the dry skin, as I mentioned earlier. And the leftovers, so he's healing 18% a turn. Oh, that's a lot to compete with. What can not get thundered to the face in the, like, kit? Um, I don't see much. Blastoise might be able to take a Thunder. I can't protect here because then he's going to heal so much more HP. Blastoise could take a Thunder. Unless this thing is Specs. Can't go for an Aqua Jet, which sucks. So I'm going to go for the Aura Spear. He is weak to it. It's a Heliolisk. A lot of things this generation are part normal for some reason. Pyro is part normal. Heliolisk is part normal. Wigglytuff is normal fairy now. It, it gained the fairy. Can I live? Blastoise, hang on! Come on, come on, come on. Wow, Blastoise live! No para. Yes! So Blastoise is gonna get his Aura Spear off, and now I'm up by one Pokemon, but it's in the, like, yellowish. It's in the red, sorry, 36 HP is red. So what is, what is his last Pokemon? I'm assuming Kabutops. Dragonite, if I have my Cloyster around. I'm gonna go for an Ice Beam. He's gonna Agility on my face? Are you kidding? Agility? Then he's gonna, like, Outrage on my face, right? Why didn't you just Dragon Dance? You're, you're naturally outspeeding me. Anyways, Multi-Skill allows him to live. He has Weakness Policy, plus two, plus two, plus two now. So now, I'm gonna go for an Aqua Jet, knowing I'm gonna die this turn. 
If he doesn't attack, I win. And two Aqua Jets in the ring can kill. Nope. Aqua Jet for damn- Why Thunder? Why a special attack from Kakanaki? Should've Aqua Jetted the first turn to break multi skill. Then he would've just thundered me. So I'm gonna bring in Slow King knowingly that I lost. And I'm going to... If I protect, I would've won. Just, I just think we're going for a Scald, if I can hit a burn. Thunder's gonna KO, probably. Well, I have a lot of special defense on this thing. Yes! Look at he's on! Burn! 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 Come on, come on. Oh, it's kill off the crit! It's just KO straight up! What? I, I don't have special attack investment. I think I have four at the most. So now we're 1-1. One, one. Oh, my eye. So now we're 1-1. One, one. I can't I, I can't get over that slow king. I'm saving this. I can't get over slow king scalding and KOing a Dragonite. Even if at that low HP. I mean, it was in the rain, but still. No special attack investment besides 4. If, if I have that. Might not even have the 4. So now we're back at 1500, right where we started, and we're gonna go for a third battle. In this battle, I'm probably gonna have to bring Greninja and Azumarill no matter what, and I'm not bringing Blastoise. So we battled Blankety Blank Blank, or we're battling with 1535 rating. She is bringing, I don't know, I don't get the um, players these days. Anyways, I don't know, you can't tell anymore with the avatars. He or she, I'm gonna go with she because it's a female avatar, is bringing Gengar, Malamar, Caracosta, or Caracosta, whichever you like to say, Zatu, Gardevoir, and, uh, Ariados. Hmm, I see a weakness between Malamar and, oh no, never mind. Well-balanced team. I do see a weakness to Ghost between three Pokemon. Hmm, so I'm gonna open up with the Greninja, because it has the Dark Pulse, which, um, hits two Pokemon, and the Ice Beam, which hits Ariado. oh no, it doesn't hit Ariado. so what am I thinking? Azumarill, and I'm probably gonna go with Crawdon, because in the last, in the first game that I brought Crawdon, it couldn't do anything. All my games have gone down to 1-0s, except, no, never mind, never mind that. Anyways, um... Ariados does have a sticky web, which scares me, but in 3v3s, hazards don't really matter. Plus, his whole- his team is pretty much outspeeding everything besides, like, my Greninja, and I'm opening with Greninja, so it's not gonna make a difference. Uh, so. Blinkity blink blink. Brought three Pokemon, we know that much. No, I'm joking. Um... Is that a Caracosta? Okay, I've never seen Caracosta. I opened Greninja, which is good, because he can, I can now pretty much guaranteed KO him with, I'm gonna go for a Dark Pulse to open up. Dark Pulse. I'm gonna turn Dark type, you know, just awesome. I think two Dark Pulses can KO, because no matter what he does, if he Shell Smashes this turn, and then like, Hydro Pumps me, or Earth Power, or something, Rock Slide, whatever. Um, he's not KOing because I focus dash. If he double attacks me, I outspeed, so I KO first. So I guess Shell Smash would be better here than anything because it would bring me down to my sash rather than doing half, round half. But he goes for the rock slide as flinch? Is he Scarf? I think Greninja would outspeed a Scarf Caracosta. Because Caracosta has like, what, base 36 speed? It has like no speed. It has probably more than that. But it doesn't have a lot of speed. So, for a ninja, he's gonna withdraw, so I'm gonna go to free Dark Pulse on whatever comes in. I don't know what that is either. Gardevoir, that's amazing. I can't KO Gardevoir in one hit. That's just amazing, getting this free Dark Pulse on the Gardevoir. I really do hate Hyper Voicing Gardevoir. Now I might be able to kill with Ice Beam. It has 10 more base power, I think. 
doesn't look like it. But if I got max roll there, maximum damage, I might have been able to kill with a maximum damage ice beam. Uh, let's see what he's gonna go for. I, I'm expecting a moon blast or a hyper voice. He did break my sash with that rock slide, so he can go for one of those. Mega! Oh! Bardvor has so much special defense and a special attack with its Mega. Oh, this is gonna hurt. I'm gonna change types with Protein. No! Freeze! Oh, I got the freeze! Don't fall, don't fall. Yes, Greninja! You just, like, the hacks! We're gonna go for another Ice Beam, hopefully taking out the Gardevoir. If he wants to go into Caracosta, I'll just Dark Pulse it next turn. He throws out and Shadow Sneaks? What? Shadow Sneaking Gardevoir, ladies and gentlemen. I love him, I Shadow Sneak. They're amazing. But, he thawed out. So we're gonna get this ice beam off and KO the Gardevoir. I just can't believe it. He like he ran Shadow Sneak. Greninja's fighting hard. Greninja, your tongue is flapping in the wind. There is a scarf. Whatever. Malamar comes out. Makes me want to go for the ice beam because I know I'm gonna get. Oh, I'm gonna Shadow Sneak it. I am running Shadow Sneak on my Greninja for situations like these. Where you think they're gonna superpower? If he like night slashes or something, I'm gonna be so toast. Darn. Smart plays by my opponent. Where I wish he superpowered right there. That would have been boss. I'm gonna go into my my zoomer roll because if he started superpowering off my crawdon, then his he might be able to KO zoom roll. Since I resist his Night Slash and his, um, superpower, but not his, whatever psychic, what psychic type move does he run? So he's gonna sack it, I wish I went for that belly jump, I would have won already. But no, I'm gonna go for the play rough here. He probably locks himself into it and wants to go for the, uh, superpower. I get the crit, not gonna matter, obviously. So, um, Azumo takes out the Karakosta. Now, moment of truth, that's Malamar. I didn't know Malamar also has that square at the end, like Tail and Flame. I'm gonna go for the play rock. Can I land it and KO? I knew he would lock himself into superpower. Um, I think play rough Aqua Jet would kill. He's gonna get the plus one plus one with Contrary. If he locked himself into superpower back there, I would have won. But I'm gonna take out the Malamar play rock, even at plus one defense. So the power of a zoom roll! Woohoo! And that'll be the end of Monotype Tuesday. So we went 2-1. We actually did pretty good for Monotype Tuesday, our first Monotype. So um, our overall World to Rank record is 4-2. We have 4 wins, 2 losses. And today I'm probably going to have another Wi-Fi battle up. So stay tuned for that. See you guys. Peace.